do a short little review from last week. Get you a piece of paper. Should be some there on the table. I'm going to give you some words from last week and see if you know what they are. Those of you that weren't here, you can learn with the lesson sheet just for today. Mahad. I'm here. It's sick. Swath. Thirsty. Okay, y'all want to do it orally instead of writing it down, that's fine. Leg leaves. Church. Sheeta. Sit down. Pukisa. Why? Bon wheat. Bonsoir. Bonjour. Keeler. Win. All right. Como Reneu? Uh, what, what is your name? Como Ye? How are you? How are you? Bien. I'm good. I'm Trey Bien. Very good. I'm Papi Mal. I'm La. I'm here. I'm here. Tet. Head. Head. Vaughn. Stomach. Tefe mal. Ngay and tefe mal. I have a headache. <laughs> Toot moon. Everybody. Kisa re le sa. Kisa re le sa. What do you call this? If you want to point at something and say, Kisa re le sa. What do you call this? And then they'll tell you what they call it. Zami. Friend. Friend. All right. Souple. Please. Messy. Thank you. Okay, I think we went over most of them. Jezi Remeu. Jesus loves you. Jezi Remeu. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. All right. Y'all are doing great. Um, Steve, would you like to open us up with prayer? Sure. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to come and just learn and learn the language where we can go and share the gospel. Just all the love that Jesus has given us, pass it on down to patience, and we just ask that uh, you give Rachel and she can give her patience as she uh, teaches us and refreshes us in Creole, but also, Lord, no matter what language we're speaking, we pray, Lord, that we choose the language of love. And just ask that for everything we say and do, give honor and glory back to you. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Hey, Steve, keep on. I'm sorry to move on there. Call it, call it, call it. All right. And then she don't want to stay. No, you come on, brother. Because I can hear you. If we care about it. I'm sorry. I'm going to give you some new words for this week. Uh, I don't have one per person, but I put a couple per table. And while I'm writing some things on the board, you could go ahead and be making you some new flashcards with these new words.
Okay, if you're not quite finished, you can finish it as we go or a little bit later. A few pronunciations of vowels. I'm going to show you these pronunciations and say that there are always a few exceptions, just like English. Uh, so what I'm telling you, this is most of the time, but you might come across a word here and there that's different. The A is almost always pronounced ah, like in father. The E has two sounds. If the act, if there is, let me hold this. If there is no accent sound written on it, or if the accent sound goes up to the left, it's a short E, like in let. If there's an accent mark that goes up to the right, it's a long, kind of like our long A sound in obey. Oh, that's not A, but I'm just telling you that sound. The I is pronounced like our long E in ski. The O, ah, like lot. Oo is kind of like our oo in you. So that just helps you as you are looking at the words, if you're wanting to know how to pronounce it. Consonants, most of the consonants are like our consonants. Uh, well, we may learn a few exceptions here and there, but usually if you see a consonant, it'll be like our consonant. I put on your table a little story about the pine tree, and this has some of our new words in it for today. And I'm going to read it in Creole if you want to follow along and listen to the pronunciations. Long time passé, Buen Wen Villa Sumona, Tegayon Ti Pie Bois Pen. I should have said that faster together. Ti Pie Bois Pen. Kitap Kompe La. Pamila Pibwa Yonan Foreya. Nuta Kwe Yonti Pibwa Pen Konsa Kitiama Bell Tatre Konton. Me Ti Pibwa Pen A Pat Kontan Ditu. No Ali Li Kontan Li Te Tri Sampil. Puki? I, I taught you Puki Sa, but sometimes I just say Puki. Puki, se te pasque si piti, piti li te ye. Li te pi piti pase la yo. We tut la pi bois te pi gro pase li. Okay, underneath it is the English translation. If you want to glance at that real fast. Okay, now I'm going to read the Creole again, and I want you to try to read it out loud with me, okay? And I'll go slowly. Long time passé, buen moin villa sumona, te gayon ti pie bois pen, qui ta campe la, pami la pie bois. Yon a foria. Nu to kwe yon ti pi bwa pen konsa. Li tel ma bel ta tre konta. Me ti pi bwa pen an pat konta di tu. No ali li konta li te tris an hil. Pukisa? Se te pasque si piti, piti li te ye. Li te pi piti pase la yo. We tut la pi bwa te pi gro pase li. Okay. Now some of those words were on your new words for today. 
And by looking down at the English, you can probably figure some of them out. What is the word, words, for pine tree? For little pine tree. Can you find out what words? Okay. Pie bois, the P I E B O U A, that's tree. Pie bois. T in front of it means little. I'm not standing in the right place for you. <laughs> and pe means pine. So little pine tree. We have T, pie bois, pen. Now say that with me. T, pie bois, pen. Okay. Can you pick out some of the other words where they are in the story? You see Colton for happy on the one, two, three, four, fifth line down. So Trey Colton would be very happy. Okay. <clears throat> one thing you may have noticed, has anybody noticed where the adjective usually is? Adjective is you. Jacob, don't embarrass me. <laughs> he just said he's still learning with me. <laughs> okay. In Creole, the adjective is usually behind the noun. There are some exceptions we're going to go over in just a minute. But let's do some usuals. Okay? Like if you want to say ripe banana. You would say banana ripe, which is fig, F-I-G, me for ripe, M-I. So you say fig me, ripe banana. Um, if you want to say my sister, you would say sister my. The word for sister is se, you would say se moi, my sister. My brother, fre moi. The exceptions to this are, well, <laughs> if you're talking about size, amount, age, Goodness, badness, <laughs> or beauty. So, like if you want to say, grow. Or large. Did we learn that last week? No. This week. Or this week? Or this week? Okay. Or T. Or pity. For small. What's the letter over the T? Is that another Yeah, T I. Those go before the noun, like in the tree. T P bois, little tree. Or if you have a big house, like God does. Grow Kai, the adjective goes before it. <clears throat> so I'd like you to look at the paragraph you have there and underline the adjectives that say small or other. The word for other is lot, L O T.
get your right to go out of here. <laughs> He's ahead of all of us. He had all his cars made before he got here. You can hear John. <laughs> Okay, can you tell me what lines you saw them on? On the line two, you saw what one? T. T. Yeah? Four is T. Five is T. The next to last sentence has... Okay. So do you see that those words, um, the T was before the noun instead of after the noun? A word for beauty that we learned, bell. Use that before the noun. Like if you want to say a pretty house, you'd say bell chi. Pretty girl would be bell phi. Though you'll just get those as you get accustomed to the hearing it. You'll just know what sounds right. Okay. So it really should be bell southern. <laughs> I guess it kind of is southern. The word plan means full. The word weed means empty. <clears throat> so in a way you may consider those, they do tell an amount, but this is an exception. These go behind the noun. That's what I mean, you'll just kind of get used to the sound. So like, if you want to say a full cup of water, Yom Tras Plan Delo. A glass full of water. An empty bowl. Yom Bowl. So plan means full, V means empty, and those go after the noun. The word for watermelon. Melon. Glow. A little cup. Young tea toss. Little cup. A little cup. Is yawn a? Do you know how you say a large bowl? A large bowl. Yawn. That's hard to yawn. Young bone fig. 
Oh, why do I say from right banana? Fig me. Yeah? Okay, what would an empty cup be? How do you say fig? No, not as in banana. Deferred fig. You must know what it is. Oh, I don't know. They don't know fig. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Okay, empty cup. Yo, toss, feed. Empty cup. Right. That's an adjective that comes after. Yom bel tas. What's that? A pretty cup. What? A pretty cup. Yom grand moon. Not sure if we did grand. It's old. Yeah. So an older person, you say yom grand moon. What's your bell moon? Pretty old. Pretty person. You know the word for ugly? You can tell Paul this when he gets back. Lead. <laughs> if you hear somebody calling you lead, they're saying you're ugly. I hear that all the time. Actually, they probably won't say that unless they're very much teasing. But you will hear them calling you blah. White, yeah. Um, and they think we all look alike. <laughs> I was trying to describe one of the Americans there one time to a Haitian. You know, the one with the long blonde hair. And he said, Madam Paul, all the blondes look alike to me. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> we all look alike to Mike, too. Huh? So let's go over the words for this week. You got your lesson sheet? Let's say the Creole and then the English. Loin, far away. Do you not have one, Rick? No, the, the new words. Ville is town. La is there, Mon is mountain, Isit is here, Pierbois, tree, Compe, stand, Quay, believe, Belle, pretty, Contan, happy, D2, at all. It's like if they're wanting to emphasize something like not at all, they may say it two or three times. D2, D2, D2. <laughs> that means not at all, not at all. D2. Trees, sad. Ampil is very. Pity, little. Grow is big. Tas, cup, bowl, it's bowl, that one's pretty easy, melon, melon, dlo, water, veed, empty, bone, good, fig, banana, lo, another, tea, little, Moon, person, shock, each. Shock. Yeah. So, <clears throat> tell me what where adjectives usually go. They usually go after the noun, except what are the exceptions? T. Size. Size, age, beauty. Goodness, badness, amount. Yeah, so if 
you were telling somebody how many apples you had, you would say the number before. Um, you're not going to go around probably remembering that rule, but if you know, you'll just get used to what sounds right. But most of the time, we say the adjective after the noun, except for those exceptions. Okay. I want you to, with the people at your table, use words from last week and this week, and our rules about adjectives, and see if you can come up with two or three sentences about anything you want to that's in those words. Are you able to come up with some sentences? <laughs> I didn't hear you. 
I didn't know. My cup is empty. It's awesome. SK. Yeah. You don't say SK. Bowl or is. Why big bowl? No, SK is the beginning. If you're asking a question and you want to start it out with SK. So you're wanting to say my cup is empty? Is. Okay, you would say, say, or, um, Tas Vid. Actually, you just usually don't say anything for is in that sentence. Yeah, SK is like a question mark, and it starts out a question. SK Uvlele, do you want to go? SK Ugrangu, are you hungry? But you wouldn't put SK in the middle of something. At least I've never heard it that way. Let me say that again. Yeah, you started out with that. Yes, maybe cup. So cup, my cup is empty. Toss and oil, Toss and oil, plan. My cup is full. Okay. Anybody else got some sentences you want to throw out? How are you, little person? <laughs> Child? Why is that person sad? Except you would really put, did you say la? I understood what you meant, but you would say moon la. You put the la after the person. And because um, moon ends in the N sound, you would use N the N instead of la. But those things you just get as you say it, it just sounds right. But they would understand what you meant. Yeah. What about this one? Vant, moi, play, yon, grow, melon. My stomach wants a big melon? Yes. <laughs> okay. Do y'all have a sentence over there? Okay. The word she's saying when you're there with Paul, he says the word bad guy a lot. <clears throat> that is the word for thing, and you spell it B A G A Y. Right? <clears throat> yeah, that's not on our top list to learn. Um, so, like, if you thing is bad guy. Which kind of sounds like us saying bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, he says it a lot at the church, and I was always like, what is he saying? Is he a bad guy? He's like, I feel like he always wants to act like Yeah. Well, there's not just one word for is. It kind of depends on the sentence. And a lot of times, you don't even use, you, you drop what we would use for is. Would this make sense if I said this? When Kotan. You're happy that the banana tree is far away? What? <laughs> <laughs> my, happy, my, happy little, my happy little banana tree far, is far away. Okay. Well, we were close there. <laughs> Say, Pepua Fig Moet. Oh, I left out the little, didn't I? Fig Tea Puet Pepua Moet. My little banana tree. Say Moet. It's far away. So say is S E. Say Moet. I got close. Yeah, it's just, like I said, as you speak it more, you'll know if something sounds right or doesn't sound right, even if you don't remember all the rules. Because I, I honestly don't, couldn't name to you all the rules without looking them up, but I just kind of get an ear for what sounds right. So did you say little tree fig? Uh-huh. Uh, and then Louis, uh, far away mine. That's kind of how the order the word of these. No, Louis would be the last word as far away. You would say, T Pia Bois Fig, little banana tree, say, Luen is far away. 
Yeah, S E C. So in that sentence, there is a word for is. The article the usually goes after the noun and the adjective. Here are some words for the. We have a, a, la, and na. And it kind of depends on the word that it follows. Law is also there. Yeah. <clears throat> so like you said, moon la, but it would be moon na. Just because of the the letters before. Yeah. Yo is the plural. Like if you're talking about um, the houses, the house would be Kai La, but the houses would be Kai Yo. That's what all the kids were calling her because her name is Kayla. Uh -huh. They the house. Yeah. So the word for dog, I just told Jacob the word for dog. Did anybody else hear it? Shin, C H I N, is the word for dog. So if you want to say the dogs, you would say Shen Yo. The big town would be Gro Villa. The big town. The mountain. What would that be? Mo na. <clears throat> so if it ends in the N sound, you're going to say the na after it. Like moon na. Mo na. Okay, what is Yongra Moon? An older person, an elderly person. Zero mm -hmm. is syrup. So if you want to say the syrup, zero a. Uh, I mean, they, you know, picked up Creole also, right, in your house. Did you do, a lot of people here, if you're raising a child who's bilingual, you speak both languages at the same time. Is that how you did with the kids, or what did you do? We didn't have to do any Creole with them at all, because they just got that. They did it better than us. <laughs> was that from, like, interacting with other kids and playing with them mostly? Mm -hmm. or? But they would mix up the two a lot. Like, Rebecca would... Pray and half be English, half be Creole, because it did she didn't distinguish it. Right. Did I speak Creole? No. At all. Did you speak Creole? Yep, when you were learning to talk, but then you moved away and you forgot. Does anybody have the John three sixteen from last week? Ooh. With you? Okay, listen to John three sixteen. Pasque Bornie, that's because God Telma Reme Le Mon Kelly by Sel Petit Lia. He loved the world so much he gave his only son. To Ninport Moon, for anybody, Kikwe Nali, who believes in him, Pa Perry, doesn't perish, Me Puli La Vie Eterno, but for him to have eternal life. Are any of those words starting to sound familiar? 
Talma Reme Le Mon. He very much loved the world. Buy, sell, petit, lia. What's that phrase? Petit Lia is son, Cell is only son. Punyan Port Moon, what's the moon mean? Person, so Nin Port is any person. Kikwe Nan Li, Kwe is on your list for today for believe. Pa Peri, doesn't perish. Mantoli gain la vie eterno, but that he will have eternal life. Okay. Okay, I'm going to point at your table, and I'd like each person to just say two Creole words. Surely everybody knows two words by now. They don't even have to go together. Say the Creole word and then what it means in English. And if you absolutely don't want to, you can say pass. Okay. We don't want to force anybody to do something they don't want to do. We're going to start out with Hunter. Big moon. Big what? Big moon. Big moon. Banana and person. <laughs> okay. Banana person. Okay. Um, well, hopefully today we will talk to our, um, what do we, what does that say? Long TV. Our good little girl, which was a Skype person yesterday. Okay. Bone is good, and Tifi is little girl. Um, swath and Grangu, and it's thirsty. Swath is thirsty, and Grangu is hungry. Okay. Jacob. Malad and Grow. Grow is big, Malad is sick. Grow for big, and Malad for sick. Rick? Tetfin Mall is headache. Okay. You got a couple, Steve? You have wasa melon? Melon tree? Melon tree? Oh, you have wasa melon? Is that right? You have wasa? Okay. Yeah. Pie bois is tree. Oh, pie bois. Uh huh. I think you got an S in it. Pie bois is tree, and then melon is melon. Okay, how about this table? Y'all got some? Messi and souffle. Messi is thank you. Is that what you said? Yeah. And souffle is please. Uh, Conton and trees. Okay, what's Conton? Happy. Happy and trees is sad. sad. Uh, Dlo is water. Dlo is water. Toss is cup. Toss is cup. All right. I'll have something. Kamonye is, how are you? Mpapi Papi Mal. Papi Mal is, not too bad. Bonjour. Bonjour is, good morning. Mla, I'm here. Steve? I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, Mpapi and I don't have it. Do you have a couple words, Mike? Kijan Ouye is another way of saying how are you. Okay. This is your all's first day, but do you have a couple Creole words? Timun. Timun or Tutmun? Timun. Timun for child or little person. Okay. Legley's is church. Pukisa is why. Shock moon would be each person. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They use a lot of nasal tones. They do. Okay, when you come back next week, you're going to know all the words on list one and all the words on list two. And know a little bit about where you placed your adjectives. Hold on to that pine tree story because we're going to work on that some more and look at some different things in it. Messy to moon. <laughs>